What's up, YouTube? What's up, what's up, what's up? We're here with another video, guys. This is my second load. we here in um, Houston, Texas, taking a load over there to uh, just out, out of Baton Rouge, uh, Louisiana. Uh, we're taking some steel plates. But in the meantime, guys, please like, share, subscribe to my channel, Boss Life, your chucker. I'll be back with the rest of, of the video. Yeah. Blessings we are reaping, we coercing on full. Oh, in a rise and boast. Sorry, we're taking this load here to Louisiana, as I said. Um, I drove what? I drove 205 miles to get here. Um, dead dead. And the loaded miles is like 240 something miles. So I could say 450 miles in total, and this load is paying a thousand dollars. The reason why I took this load here, that I would have to drive 205 dead end miles, is because this load is paying good. Um, just a little over two dollars a mile. It's not paying good, but a little over two dollars a mile. That ain't bad. Um, I could drop this off in the morning here, just as soon as they load me. I got a couple of trucks in front of me. But in the meantime, what I'm gonna do, since this is a oversized load, um, I'm gonna put some oversized straps and flags. In the meantime, because I am in line. I got what? I got like four trucks in front of me. My phone is ringing. I don't know who's calling me. Right, let me answer this call. So guys, this happened so quick. I got loaded. Three plates. Um, I got to secure this right now. I when they were loading me, I put my um oversize on. I put my flags. I put it at the front also. But I'm gonna hurry up and get this thing secure. So I could get out the way. So I get you guys. Catch me on the flip side. Just arrived at the um, delivery here. For what I got here when it's lunchtime for these guys. So what I'm gonna do in the meantime, I'm gonna remove my straps um, to get my load. Try to make it easy on myself to get my load um, unloaded quick. This is what we got here. It was a night last night. Let me flip the camera around and show you guys our security stuff. So this is how it was done last night. I got my little bulkhead right here. Um, the straps. I ran out of um, edge protectors, so I used, you know, the straps, the excessive um, straps right here. it as an edge protector old firm I got here safely no issues so I'm gonna leave at least two straps on it one at the front here one at the end and remove all the other straps all right guys we're here beautiful Wednesday morning in the beautiful state of Louisiana in the beautiful town of Baton Rouge here to pick up this equipment here I'm going to take to Lexington South Carolina so they rode me home um, for Friday today's so Wednesday. I'm picking this up I have some fittings so help me here while I secure this load I'm gonna use the straps so I'll be back let me take my alright guys so I just secured the load they had a the next piece to the truck here so I had to um, strap that in as well as the trucks coming I got to get out of the way so what I did was I used one of the chains I used one of the chains and one of the ratchet binders to uh, strap this down the front so this chain right here is pulling to the front also I had two straps you know what I mean just for, just for extra securement 
and this is the next chain at the back pulling it backwards they're all tight 6,100 pounds so should be good um, yeah nice equipment here good load so it is 719 miles and the rate for this is $2,100 so it's like three dollars a mile um, it's pretty good light 10,000 pounds so I should be burning a lot of fuel so I'm gonna hit the road right now here at my delivery um, forklift guy told me to the spark out the front here because this is a dead end the spark over here and he will have me unload right out the gate so this is what I all I got here safely um, I've been having some issues I don't know if you see it on my face I'm not that pleased and what I'm not that pleased with is my dispatcher um, the previous dispatcher that I had before I left um, we had a good chemistry when it comes on to um, loads now I don't have that chemistry with my current dispatcher and is, is affecting me my, free, my previous dispatcher before I reached my destination with a load he already got a load for me I'm always busy but this dispatcher here is he's waiting for me to done unloading before he finds a load and normally when I unload it's like 12 o'clock 1 o'clock right and then he'll be like oh um uh, uh, there's no load on the board right now bro you have all day I made it here my dispatcher finally found a load for me I made it here it's some shingles quick easy load I'm um, gonna take it there in Alpha take this load down there in Alpha Rita Georgia it's like 200 miles from here 240 something miles and the rate is $775 so it's like probably three dollars a mile something like that three dollars and change a mile no tarp easy straps um, as you can see there, um, I'm going to wash my hands right now and I'm going to hit the road. Shut down as close as possible to my stop so when I do my 10 hours reset tomorrow, I could just run inside, get this unloaded, get me a load that will I could deliver on Monday. Because I'm going, I'm going home here over the weekend. Now let me flip this camera around. Show Sorry you. guys, I almost got in trouble. <laughs> so I used one strap for each pallet and it wasn't securing the loads properly because see for example here if I put one strap here this one here didn't have any securement so when I uh, 
submitted the pictures safety called me they were like no you gotta put two straps i saw it earlier before i was like ah i picked a load up like this before i used one strap no one said shit but um they called me this time i got caught <laughs> so i put two strap per pallet so now all the freights are secure and they also asked me to put edge protectors as well so that's what i did so now i'm good i'm gonna hit the road right now Sorry guys, I have arrived. I have arrived at my delivery. Um, there's one truck in front of me. Gotta be unloaded. Then I gotta remove these traps. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna remove these traps and you know, whenever that truck is unloaded, then I'll pull up. This is my last load for this week. Then um, I got a next load that's picking up. I got a next load that's picking up after this, and it's going to Washington, North Carolina. So I asked to get a load to go home, and they found me a load. So that load that I'm picking up, it's going all the way. To Washington as I said and um, it's, it's a Monday delivery so basically I'm gonna go home and do my 34 hours reset then I head back out on Monday after delivering that load on Monday I will have uh, the starting of the week with a load if you know what I mean you know to kind of boots up the gross so I'm gonna let you guys know how much it is um, gross I made this week but let me unstrap this because the guys is waiting on me. So give me a minute. Sorry guys. I decided to do a voice over um, simple because I was doing some work. So um, this wasn't a bad week. It could have been better. Um, I knew why. Uh, it's nobody's fault. So let me go over what is going on here. So my first load I picked up on the Friday, which was the 1st of November. Um, picked it up early Friday morning. I got to the facility from the Thursday, but they loaded me Friday morning. Um, so the 1st onto the 8th, I grossed six thousand nine hundred and five dollars so let me tell you how I, I grossed that so i picked the first load up on the first in chicago illinois and we took that to i can't pronounce this word here it is spelled p h l sorry it is spelled p f l u g E R V I L L E. So I pronounce it Fugerville, Texas. <laughs> that was uh, $3,030 gross. Then um, I picked the next one up in uh, Baytown, Texas. I took it to Uma, uh, Louisiana. That was for $1,000. I picked one up the following day in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I took that to Lexington, South Carolina. That was $2,100. Um, then after Lexington, South Carolina, I picked one up in Columbia, South Carolina. I took that to Alfredo, Georgia for $775. Now... I could have picked the next load up after this one here in Alpharita, Georgia, but uh, and deliver try to deliver the same day because I delivered this one in Alpharita, Georgia, in the morning, early in the morning. So I had a chance to could like do probably a 300 miles run and make an extra thousand dollars gross. That could would probably get me to close to eight thousand. But what I did was, um. I asked him to give me a load to go home. So that's the load that you guys are going to watch in my next video after this. So for the week, as I said, I gross 
$6,905. All right. That's all I have to say. I don't want to discuss the breakdown and how much I take home. Because as I always said, whatever I take home is whatever I take home. It's just for me and my family. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, that's it. If I, as I said earlier, if I could have made close to 8000 but I, I u utilized that Friday to get me a load to go home. So watch the next video after this and you'll see the next load that I pick up. All right, please remember to like, share, subscribe to my channel. Boss Life, your chucker, I'm out.